channel so I am filming a bit of a new video today I have never done like a cooking type video on my channel I think I did like a healthy snack something a while ago and I thought I would do this for you today because it's something that we love eating and it's so easy it's basically not even like cooking because I'm just using a roast chicken that I bought from the grocery store but just I just want to show you like a different way of how you can have it rather than just have it with plain veggies or gravy or chips or anything like that that you typically would. And this is super, super simple. It doesn't take long at all and I am not the best cook and I find this super easy and it's so yummy. I don't think it's like particularly healthy only because of the cheese and the cream in it, but for this type of weather like winter and rainy days it's so comforting and warm and just so delicious so let's go ahead and get started these are the ingredients you need so this is just like I said a roast chook that I got from the grocery store it was only ten dollars sorry if you can hear like rummaging about that's just my rabbit um, telling me that he has no food in his cage and I just used some grated mozzarella that's already pre-grated like the ones you get in the bag and this is the thickened cream so this is a 600 ml bottle and we've got some frozen cauliflower pieces obviously you can use fresh if you want but I just this is the easiest way possible so frozen cauliflower and some frozen mixed veggies so this has beans potato corn and carrot and so yummy so good and then these are the spices that I choose to put in it obviously you don't even have to make your own sauce like if you wanted to just buy pre-made sauce like um, white sauce like pasta bake type sauce you could just do that but I like to make my own that's why I use a thickened cream and then I put my own spices and cheese and stuff in it so I'll show you the spices that I'm going to be putting in it. So I'll be doing cayenne, cayenne pepper, however you say that, um, garlic powder and hot chili flakes, some ground paprika and some Cajun seasoning as well. You just need a big pot that you're going to boil your frozen vegetables in. Now if you're using fresh vegetables you don't have to boil them because at the end everything's going to go in the oven anyway. But because I'm using frozen veggies I'm going to boil them and then another little pot to make your sauce in. You look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feet. I'm going to start off with the thickened cream in the saucepan here. Since I'm using the whole roast chicken, I'm going to empty out the whole 600 mils of this thickened cream. Now I'm going to add like two handfuls of grated cheese so there's one maybe not two whole ones maybe one in a bit and I've got this on the smallest burner so that it doesn't burn obviously because I want the cheese to get nice and runny without burning or getting bloggy so just give that a little bit of a stir and have it on low heat so now I'm just going to add the spices in no particular order or anything I just sprinkle a little bit in at a time of each one I'm also just putting in a little bit of salt there's all my spices in there and I'm just going to give everything a stir so you can see the cheese getting all gluggy there so even if you just leave this for five minutes and then you can turn the gas off because at the end it's going to go in the oven with the veggies and the chicken Okay, I'm just going to cut the roast chicken up so you can either have it shredded or diced up in little pieces just as long as it's small bite-sized pieces. So I will do that and then we'll come back and finish everything up. While I'm doing my chicken, while I'm cutting that up, I'm just showing you that, that the veggies are boiling. So I've used the other half the bag of the cauliflower and about... I'd say a whole bowl full of veggies in there. That's the chicken there. I've just put it in the foil tray because this is what I'm going to be baking everything in at the end. So I just thought instead of dirtying another plate or something, I would just put it in this. So that's what the whole chicken looks like. And I gave some of the 
other bits like stuffing and all of that to our little doggy. Now once the veggies are done we're going to put everything together in the pot, mix it all together and then throw it in this and put it in the oven so we'll be back to finish up. Veggies are done, I have strained them out and just put them back in this pot. So now I'm going to add the sauce and the chicken to it. So it, I just find it easy to mix in the pot and then just put the whole lot in the oven. Like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings out. You look at me like I'm different. Still, you stay cause you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, 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 I fell in love with your colors. They kinda tell me what I'm thinking. Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay So there you go guys, that was my, I don't even know what to call it Would it be like a cheesy veggie chicken bake I guess So I hope you enjoyed this video And I know it's probably a little bit random for my channel to do like a cooking video but I don't know, I just wanted to branch out and try something new and share this with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please give me a big thumbs up and comment down below what you think of this recipe and whether you try it for yourself. Please let me know what you thought. I would really, really appreciate that. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. It means so much to me. And hit the bell to be notified of my future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Change